Hoosiers right here in the Circle City are getting ready to raise a stein in, in honor of National German American Day. Indy's annual German Fest turns 15 this year, so happy 15th. Our Nico Parisi live downtown to tell us exactly what you could enjoy this weekend. And look, he is dressed for the occasion. The dude gives it his all. Nico, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, I'm getting into the spirit. It's touted as downtown Indy's best house party. German Fest is back. You'll get the chance to discover your inner German and party here at the Athenaeum this Saturday. And I'm joined by Athenaeum President Craig Mintz. Craig, it's been 15 years of German Fest here in Indy. What should mm -hmm. folks be expecting this weekend? All the traditional favorites. We've got uh, the German food. We've got the German beer. We've got the wiener dog races, which are always very popular. Sausage eating contest, stein holding, you name it. We got it all. Awesome. I mean, I'm wearing the Wiener Dog Race t-shirt. Talk to us about what we should be seeing these little dogs doing. Yeah, it's four heats. Uh, we've got a total of 48 dogs actually running. Uh, so they'll just compete against each other just for funsies. Okay, and the uh, streets here on Michigan and New Jersey are going to be closed off. You were telling me that the event has just grown over the years. It's expanded uh, down the block. Talk to us about what folks should be expecting here. For sure. Last year, we actually saw record-breaking attendance. Uh, so we figured we needed to have a bigger footprint for the event. So we're taking on part of the surface lot behind the Athenaeum. That'll be our main entry point for people to come in off of Vermont and Cleveland. Uh, and you'll go right into the main stage where all the polka music is going to be. We've got all the food vendors and the beverage vendors. Okay, do you have a favorite food that you're going to be eating this Saturday? I'm a pretzel guy, so I like the soft pretzels. So the Bavarian soft pretzels with a nice mustard is uh, always my favorite. Well, I think I'd be excited for the brats, and there's a brat eating contest. How, oh. how many brats can someone put down in this con in these contests? So it's it's not a uh, uh, how many can you eat. There's ten sausages, and you got to eat them. Whoever can eat them first wins. Gotcha. Uh, so ten, ideally. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of sausage to be eating in the morning. But yeah. you were telling me that folks should be getting their tickets now because yes. they'll save a bit of money. What, what do folks need to know about ticketing? So tickets are on sale now at our website, AthenaeumIndy.org. Uh, they are $15 for adults right now and $10 for children. Tomorrow morning, they go up to $25 uh, for adults and $15 for children. So the price goes up a little bit tomorrow. Uh, so we're definitely encouraging people to get their tickets right now. Yes, definitely be proactive. Well, thank you, Craig, for joining me this morning. Again, German Fest will be this Saturday from noon to 6, Raphael. If you follow Nico Panisi on social media, you know <laughs> that he's a man of style. So the question this morning is, tell me about the fashions the headgear, did you buy that? Was that in the Nico Panisi no, collection? No, it, it was gifted to me. Yeah, I, I love a hat. This is not my normal type of hat that I wear. Normally I'm in a baseball cap, but I think that the fedora is pretty fierce with like the little feather and I think there's a German flag on here. Yeah, so we're very festive, we're with the theme. And actually this t-shirt is very cute. I would wear this out, you know, out. Uh, and about so we're gonna put Nico Parisi on the red carpet and send him to the Kentucky Derby in May with that hat to represent <laughs> WRTV. Nico, you're doing your thing. You thank are you a fashion much. statement yeah. on this Friday. Thank you so much.